Welcome back to Microsoft Access 2010 Beginner Level 1. For more free lessons on Microsoft Access, make sure to subscribe to my channel and visit my website at accesslearningzone.com slash YouTube. In Lesson 11, we'll build a couple of different customer reports, including some customer mailing labels. So far, we've learned how to create tables, queries, and forms. Reports are pretty much just like forms, except reports are designed to be printed out or sent as an email attachment or basically presented to someone who's not using your database. Creating a report is very similar to creating a form. First we click on the table or query that has our data. Then we click on create. And over to the right we'll see the reports section. It's very similar to the forms section. First we have the basic report where Access just builds us a report. Then we have report design which lets us get in and modify the nooks and crannies of the report. We'll talk about report design in a future class. We have the blank report where Access just throws a blank report together and lets you insert fields where you want them. We have a report wizard which will ask you some questions and design the report that way. And finally, there's a labels wizard right here, which is used for creating mailing labels. We'll walk through the labels wizard in a few minutes, but first, let me show you the basic report. I'm just going to click on the report button, and after a moment, Access throws this report together for us. As you can see, Access put together a simple customer report. It looks just like a continuous form that we built earlier in our forms section. If I scroll down, I'll see multiple customers, one per line. If I go back up to the top of the report, you can see there's a report header up here. You can again delete that title if you want to, or you can double click on it and type something in, like customer report, and then press enter. Notice over on the right, you'll see the time and date. This is usually handy on reports, so you can see when the report was printed. Again, just like forms, reports have different views. There's report view, print preview, layout view, which we're in right now, and design view. Now, design view, we'll talk about in a future class. Layout view is what we're in right now. That lets us come in here and make some changes to the report. Now, you have limited control over the height of these objects because Access needs to print all of the information in each text box. So as you can see here, the company name is forced onto a second line. So it has to be able to grow that text box vertically in order to show all the information. You can get away without doing that on forms because in a form text box, you can scroll up and down. Can't quite do that on a report. So in the report, you can really only easily control the horizontal size. If you want to see what this is going to look like when you actually print it, come over here and go to Print Preview. This will give you a better approximation of what your report is going to look like when it's finally printed. Notice on the bottom here, we have zoom controls, just like in Word and Excel, where we can zoom out to get a better view of our document. We can scroll down. We can go to page two right here and page three. You can change the size of the page letter, legal, executive, and so on. You can adjust the margins right here. Right now they're set to narrow. You can change them to wide or normal. Here's where you can also come to export this report as a data file. If you want to send it as an email attachment, click on email. You can export it as a PDF file or send it to a text file or even an Excel file. I'll click on the PDF or XPS button. Browse to where you want to save the file. Change the file name if you want to. And the save as type, I'll leave it PDF. Then I'll come over here and click on publish. And now I have a nice formatted PDF file that I can save for later, email to someone, put up on my website, and so on. I'll go ahead and close that. Access is asking us if we want to save these export steps for the future. I'm going to just close this. We'll talk about this later. 
Essentially, if you have certain reports that you export on a regular basis, you can save these steps so you don't have to repeat the wizard every time. We'll talk more about this in a future class. For now, I'll just hit close. When you're done with the print preview version of your report, just click on the close print preview button. And that will put you back into your report layout mode. Now there's not a ton of difference between layout view and report view. Report view just shows you the data and doesn't let you make layout changes. Whereas layout view obviously allows you to make those changes. When you have your end users opening up the reports, you don't want them playing with the layout changes. And yes, in a future lesson, I'll show you how to restrict all that. Now, let's close this report. Do I want to save the changes to this report? Sure. I'll save this as my customer R. And then hit OK. And now you can see I have a reports group over here in my navigation pane. And you can see customer R is right there. To open it up again, I'll just double click on it and then close it again. Now sometimes you might want to make a report based on data from a query. For example, let's see the boss only wants to see those customers from New York again. This time click on customers from New York queue, go to create, click on report, and now the report is only getting its data from the query. So as you can see here, I'm only getting five records instead of all 11 and I can change this report header by just clicking in it and editing it that way. Customers from New York. I'll close this and say no to save changes. If you want a report that looks more like this, the single form, where you only have one customer per page, what you do is click on the customer table or query if you want to go to create and use the report wizard for this. The report wizard first says which fields do you want on your report. Pick the table or query here if you haven't already. We'll stick with the customer table and then choose which fields you want to be on this report. Let's say I don't need the customer ID. How about the first name? I'll click on it and then click on this arrow here that moves it from the available fields over to the selected fields. Last name, you can also just double click on the field like this. How about city, state, and phone number? Just those fields. I'll click next. Do you want to add any grouping levels? This is handy if you want to group all of the customers from New York together for example but for now I'll just skip this I'll click next what sort order do you want for your records let's say you want to sort by last name that's fine you can sort by up to four different fields next how do you want the report to look tabular is the look we had earlier there's also columnar which is the look we're looking for and a justified report let's go with columnar Hit next. What title do you want for the top of the report? Let's change this to customers. That's what goes in that title box. And then finish. After a second, Access puts the report together for you and puts you in print preview mode. And there we are. Notice my mouse pointer has changed to a magnifying glass. If you click somewhere on the report, it zooms you out. And you can click to zoom back in again. Notice you see just the fields that you requested to be on the report. We pick those in the wizard. Let's close this report. And I don't want to save this one either, so I'll just say no. Notice the wizard actually went ahead and saved a copy of that report in the database. It'll sometimes do that right when it's finished building the report. In this particular case, I don't want it, so I'll click once on it and then press delete on my keyboard. It says, do you want to permanently delete the report? I'll say yes, and now it's gone. Now let's make some mailing labels. Click on customer T, hit create, then in the reports section, click on labels. 
the label wizard loads up come down here where it says filter by manufacturer and find the manufacturer of the type of labels that you want to use there are a ton of different manufacturers in here I'm using Avery labels then find the product number each Avery label type has a product number I'm using 5160s that's the label that gives you 30 on a page there's three across and 10 down I'll click next choose the font the font size the font weight and the color that you want for the font on your labels again I'll just press next the defaults are fine now we're asked to set up a prototype label essentially this is what you want your mailing labels to all look like I'll start with first name now you can either double click on it or click on it once and then press this button here following first name I want a space so I'll press the space bar on my keyboard then last name now to move down to the next line I'll press enter company name is next enter address enter and finally city spacebar state spacebar postal code spacebar country that's another reason why I wanted to leave country blank because most of my customers are from the US and so it just won't print anything there if it's a different country like Canada it should show Canada now I'll press next again which fields would you like to sort by? If you're running bulk mail, you might want to sort by zip code. Press next again. What name would you like for the report? How about let's go with customer mailing label R. R for report. Then finally, I'll click finish. And here you can see the print preview of our mailing labels. You can click and zoom out and see all the mailing labels. Now you just have to feed this into your printer and click on the print button. The print button is right here on the left hand side of the print preview tab. When you're done just click the close print preview button. This will actually put you into design mode. Notice in design mode you can see the different individual text boxes, you can see the detail section, the page header, some ruler bars up here. We'll talk about all these things in our future classes. For now, I'll just close the report. Now, if you go to run this report in the future, if you double click on it, it will open up the report in report view. And you'll see here that you don't have any columns. In order to see your columns, you'll have to come up here, drop this down, and go to print preview. Some of you might also get this warning message. It says some data may not be displayed. There is not enough horizontal space on the page for the number of columns in the column spacing you specified. Essentially, the columns and the column spacing need to be adjusted. Usually this is because of the print drivers that you have on your system. We'll talk about different remedies for this in the future lessons, but for now, just click OK and your report should still be displayed. In a future lesson, I'll teach you how to deal with that error message and I'll show you how to make a button on your navigation form, we'll make a main menu, that will open up this report or even print it directly without having to switch into print preview mode. For now, let's just close this report. So now, we've built a customer table, a couple of different customer queries, a customer form, a simple customer report, and some customer mailing labels you now have the beginnings of a great access database that you're building yourself. Over the next couple of classes, we'll add lots more to this database and you'll see everything that access can do. Make sure you subscribe to my channel right now and also don't forget to visit my website at accesslearningzone.com YouTube for more advanced lessons and other specials just for YouTube viewers.